Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Olivia and I make videos about anthropology every single Monday. Now you read the title of this video. I don't know how I haven't gotten to this topic before, <laughs> but we're going to be talking about the differences between archaeology and paleontology because they sound pretty similar, but they are in fact very different things. So um, let's just get into it. So in this video today, we're going to be starting out with those basic definitions that you're gonna find on Google. Then we're gonna dive into what's missing from those definitions. And then we're gonna close this whole thing out by talking about the differences between the two fields and the similarities. So let's start out with archeology. span Now, if you look up archeology, span the basic definition that Google's gonna give you is the study of human history and prehistory through the excavation of sites and the analysis of artifacts and other physical remains. So this might be exactly what you're expecting, I'm not sure, but I wanna draw your attention to one little word in this definition that kind of changes everything. That word being human. Archeology, span like it says here, is the study of human history, okay? Through the things that we excavate. That's what I want you to take away from this definition as we now transition into the next definition, which is paleontology. So when you look that up, you're gonna get this. The branch of science concerned with fossil animals and plants. Okay, take a guess on what the keywords in here are. <laughs> animals and plants. Those are the definitions. Now let's talk about some of the differences between these fields. The first difference is the one that I've been alluding to this entire time. And that is, you know, are we talking about humans or not. So archeology span is actually a branch of anthropology. This surprises a lot of people. So anthropology more broadly is the study of humans. This is human culture, history, biology, language, literally anything human that you can think of. Archeology span is a branch of anthropology. Anthropology has four main subfields. Those subfields are culture, linguistics, biology, and archeology. span So since it's a subfield of a human science, archeology span is understanding humans through excavation. Meanwhile, paleontology has nothing to do with humans. It's understanding basically everything else that isn't us because you know we're self-centered and obsessed with ourselves. So this is all organisms that pop up in the fossil record. This is like dinosaurs and megafauna or like ancient plants and stuff like that. Uh, that's what paleontologists are more interested in. The next big difference is the kind of remains that these scientists are studying. So archeologists, when they're going through this archeological record, they're studying something called material culture. If you're interested in an, you know, a more extended definition of material culture, I will link a video that I made a while ago on that topic. But the SparkNotes version of it is basically just that material culture are the physical items that humans have left behind, right? We have created giant buildings and homes. We've also created a lots of pottery and stone tools, many, many things that do preserve in the archeological record. And archeologists call these things that humans have left behind material culture, right? It's culture represented through material. Again, go watch that video if you're interested. That's what archeologists span are studying. Meanwhile, paleontologists are studying organic material that's been preserved within the fossil record. So if there were skeletal remains of a dinosaur, that would fall in the realm of paleontology. If there was organic plant matter that somehow preserved in the fossil record, again, that falls in paleontology. So uh, yeah, the remains that they're studying are different. Really quickly, if you haven't liked and subscribed, definitely do that because I talk about anthropology every single week um, and we have some really exciting things on this channel happening coming soon. So yeah, back to the video. Now we're switching over to similarities, all right? And of course there's a lot of similarities between these two fields because everyone's mixing them up all the time. I used to make this mistake, it's an easy one to make. And one of the biggest similarities between archeology span and paleontology is we're digging up ancient things 
things, right? Both of these kinds of scientists are using the way that the earth has preserved things, right? So if you're like, oh, they're just digging stuff up from the ground. Yes. Yes, but it's what they're digging up. Again, that varies. Then finally, there's a lot of overlap in the technology and the scientific method that both paleontologists and archeologists are using. For example, we want to date the things that we have found. This is done through, I mean, a lot of different ways. Um, there's relative dating, absolute dating, then there's within each of those kinds of dating, different forms of dating and all this kinds of stuff that both paleontologists and archeologists are using. For instance, if a dinosaur preserved in between two different rock layers, or if an arrowhead preserved within two rock layers, both a paleontologist and an archeologist might use stratigraphy to determine the age. I think you understand. <laughs> and then of course, all together, both paleontologists and archeologists are on this mission to reconstruct the past and understand how the past got us to where we are today. I think a clear understanding of ancient history, the history of humans, of organisms, of the connection between humans and other organisms, all these kinds of things are very important to both archeologists and paleontologists. All my sources are gonna be linked down below if you're interested in learning more. Um, and yeah, I think that's all I have to say about archeology span and paleontology, but yeah. Oh, also really quick, if you're still here, I recently was a guest on the Comfortable Spot podcast with Ken Sweeney. Um, it was a really lovely experience. We talked all about anthropology for 41 minutes straight. So if you wanna listen to that, I'm also gonna include a link to that episode down below. Okay, I think that's all for real this time. I will see you all next week. Happy Monday, and yeah, okay, goodbye. <laughs>